Today I show you how to uh, make a cottage cheese from the fermented milk that we received from the uh, kefir grains. I have collected the, the kefir for the past uh, several days a week in a jar. I kept it in a fridge closed so it does not ferment. But since I collected the whole jar, I wanted to make a cottage cheese and this is how you do it. You pour it in a pot and it can be any pot. It can be glass pot or metal pot. And uh, If you don't want the cottage cheese to be very sour, you can add some regular milk to it, uh, another liter or so. But I'm making it from the straight kefir. What you do is you turn on the heat on the smallest that you have. So it can be the uh, electric stove, the smallest setting, or I have the gas stove, so I'm using the, the smallest uh, setting there is. And I leave it on that until it, the cheese separates from the, from the kefir. And that is when it reaches temperature about 70, 60, 70 uh, degrees Celsius. And then we will drain it into the flat cheese. I will uh, show it to you when, when, the, when the cheese will be ready. So it's, uh, you leave it up on the stove and then when it separates, you don't, you don't uh, mix it, you don't touch it, give it a time, don't rush it. And then when it separates, we will uh, drain it. Okay. So this is the cheese sitting on the minimal uh, heat for over an hour, for an hour and 15 minutes actually. And you can see how the cheese separates from the rest of the, of the, of the kefir. We can give it a gentle stir. Uh, don't need to do that, but it's, uh, you, can, you can see how this, uh, how this cheese is uh, separated now. And it will give it an opportunity for the rest of the kefir to to get that heat that needs to separate of the cottage cheese. So this is this is only an hour and fifteen minutes on the on the heat, and I think that it will need another another hour for the, the cheese to form such we can drain it. I have also prepared already a, a cheesecloth with a, uh, I, I put it on a strainer so it's easier to, to, to drain. Uh, and when I get it onto the strainer, into the cheesecloth, then, then it, I will leave it for, uh, to drain. And probably overnight, it, it's the best idea. So now we have another, almost half an hour passed, and you see the cheese uh, separated from the way again. And this is actually probably the, the, the best uh, softness for that cottage cheese. If you keep it too uh, short, it, the cheese will be softer. If you keep it too long, the curds will form uh, a little bit drier and and tougher uh, so i i think up not more than two hours the, the whole process will take so you see the way separated and uh, we're uh, fortunate to have a glass pot because you can you can see I, i'm really liking using this pot because i can see uh, when the when the cheese uh, forms and separates from the from the kefir i lost my uh, cameraman to the gardening so bear with me, I am going to try to drain the cheese uh, and show it to you how the final process uh, works. So all you need to do, all you need to do is uh, pour the cheese very slowly, but I can take the strainer out of the bowl because I don't want any of that way. Some people use whey for uh, different uh, purposes to make uh, some drinks or, or even to wash uh, some, uh, some stuff. 
So you want to do it very slowly because you don't want those cords to go through the strainer. And if you do it too too fast or, or you, you pour it too too fast, the, the cheese will just melt and go go through if it's if it, if it is soft. So you see we got we got the cheese out. And it's all in a strainer. I can I can actually move it. Now. So we have we have we have the cheese on the strainer. Now we can get the the way out. And I show to you how how I how I managed to uh, to take out the the cloth. So what I do is, I use just a regular cloth uh, bought at the grocery store, or I think this is from Walmart. Uh, they're not very expensive and they last for, I think, 10 times or, or even more. So I just secure the ends of that, of that cheese. Wash them with a spoon because then you will see how, how you can use the spoon to secure the cheese and to, to let it dry, let it strain. All if there is uh, is patience. You cannot, uh, and it's very tempting to turn the heat up. You can you you have to let it. Uh, warm up on a on a very very small small heat because once you once you turn the heat up it will uh, dry quickly and uh, it will not form the curds as it would when you leave it alone for uh, for some time so you see i just secured the ends and now i can lift it and what I do is I I leave it um, on the uh, sink overnight. You can secure it some, some in some other way, but I leave it overnight, and it will make about uh, two pounds of of cottage cheese. Uh, I think it would be ready within two two and a half hours. Uh, but if you leave it overnight, uh, it will work out perfectly. And we have a final product now. We have a, uh, this is the next morning, and uh, this has been uh, like this draining for uh, the whole night. So what I do now is I just simply cut it out. Uh, so it's, it's easier to, to get the cheese out. And you just, uh, roll the cheese out of the cheesecloth and you dispose of a cheesecloth there is there is there is no no other use for that uh, you can see you can see the texture of the cheese it stays stays together uh, lots of cheese very delicious you can make a cheesecake from that or have it uh, for for uh, your sandwiches or uh, pierogies or whatnot Enjoy!